Hello guys, my name is FX and welcome back to Black Hood. In the last episode, we got up to chapter three. That means Mathematician Wiz is out there. We completed chapter one and two. I nearly said season then, but never mind, ignore me. I'm illiterate, don't we know? So, we, we're on chapter three. Uh, we've got three, four, and five left. So, again, Maths Wiz is out there. We have three left. Did I say Wizzes right then? I told you I can't do English. Three chapters left. We may or may not get them done to, like in this episode today, depending on how long it takes us to do it. Uh, but failing that, I'll do it again in another episode. And then after that, as I've said, I might do sandbox mode in either a live stream, zuh, or do it as like other videos separate to like the main story videos that we've got going on right now. So, first impressions. I really like this game. Uh, again, I'm not a reviewer by any stretch of the imagination. And it's really, really good. It's dead good is what it is. Um, <laughs> dickhead. Uh, I, I like the I like the story that they've got going on. I like the style of it I like the whole balancing act between like the water energy and money kind of things that you've got going on all the elements and stuff If you will um, so yeah that being said we are currently on chapter 3 and let's get started Chapter 3 livelihood. I see what you did there game uh, But if you could create an honorable livelihood where you take your skills and use them and you earn a living from it What the hell was that then? Agent unlock consumer. Oh, I missed them Bollocks, I missed the end bit now. Thanks, bro. All right, let's get this over with. Is that a bro or a woman or a girl? She just clipped through that, whatever it is. Uh, we're not gender assuming on this channel. Welcome to Block Corp International. I think that's what that means. Uh, we're very excited to have you on board and hope to forge a brighter future with. Oh, it's you. Is that you there? Is that, is that, is that, is, hang on a minute. Is that, that is, that is you. I think, I, th I think that's you. Uh, Nice seeing you here again. I didn't know you were who the company found to help us. I me neither. It's me, remember, from the treehouse and the neighborhood project. Eh? Oh, was that the, the last one? Was that, was that the American dude? I'm not going to do that again, by the way. That it nearly it wiped me out for six. That I had to sleep for about a week after that shit. Um, my hair might be too big for this screen. But hey, here we are again back in this old hood. Really takes me back. I built a lot of hoods since then, and now I'm back to share with uh, share what I've learned. Okay, okay. Hey, humans, long time no see. Hey, what's that? Is there someone else there? Oh, that sounds like the kid's voice, but it's coming from a weird metal stick. I can't see anybody else there. Guess you've got some static. Static? Anyways, first, we need to find out what's the what's in demand here. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go, back with the menus and shit. Every inhabitant in a hood has likes and dislikes that can be addressed. Okay, okay. Actually, I think... What? I didn't even read that. Fortunately for us at Black Corp International, maybe that pig thing. What was it? Weasel. Wasn't a weasel. Porcupine thing. I don't know. Uh, might have said something that I needed to see. And maybe he's corrupted him. I don't know. Plot twist. Um, We've got the tools to hear these requests. Ah. Oh, they're competing with each other. I think. Oh. Hello? 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 What's going on? Click the highlighted button to open the population panel. That one. The one with the peoples and stuff. Look at these people, each one full of desires waiting to be met. I've got one pretty specific desire right now. Hey, what's that? Is it acorns? Is it gonna be acorns? The microphone on this robot must be buggy. Anyways, why don't we start addressing some inhabitant demands? Okie cokey, why don't we do that as I start the clock? Uh, Block Corp HQ tells me that someone named Deb is a good example of a typical consumer. That'll be the third one down then, will it? Is that what that is? Click on Deb uh, in the population panel. I did that, let's see. Deb likes parks, flower gardens, fresh air, and beer. She's my kind of woman. Ah, beer. Nothing beats a cool, refreshing brew at the end of a long day. Are you get, are you get commission for this? Is this an advertising for like cause or something or what? Uh, unfortunately, beer doesn't grow on trees. Wouldn't that be an amazing world that we live in? So we'll have to set up a production chain to make it. Oh, key goal care production chain is a series of blocks whose outputs feed into one another, resulting in a final resource. Okie kokio. First step in the production chain for beer is wheat. Okay, cool. Which is, uh, what? Uh, where? What? What are we doing? Okay, ah, here we go. I didn't see that. Sorry. Look at the wheat field in the production inventory. That one. Wheat field. Wheat field. Is that you? That's not you. That's an oil well. Uh, we, we, wheat field. Found it! It's the one that says wheat field! Uh, a golden field of wheat to provide grain and flour for your hood. Right, got one. Do I click on it? I did. And I think I did it right. We have labor and water to run the wheat field, but we're missing fertilizer. An industrial compost plant 
No, he said fertilizer then. It's not even close. Uh, it can help us produce the fertilizer. There we go. I knew it was coming. Uh, we need. So let's build one of those first. Oh, okay, okay. Build a compost plant to start producing fertilizer. Right. So that's the one that says compost plant on it, right? Uh, which is that one because it looks exactly what it does on the bottom of the page thing screen, right? Uh, I'm gonna do that there There we go. I did that. Huh. This stuff smells like some hills of uh, I rolled around in ah, okay Because it smells like shit. You can say shit. It's a family oriented program uh, Great these plants really come in handy for any kind of farming now go ahead and plant the wheat field right so again We need to do that which is what I was trying to do before and then boosh We're gonna have it there because it's the only square that I could see Smells like something I've never done before. Next. D you! Porcupine, dude, pig thing, wherever you are on the map, because I can't see you right now. Stay away from my wheat grass thing, all right? Because I'll roast you, is what I'll do. Quite figuratively. Figuratively? Yeah. No. Never mind. Next, we need a brewery to brew our wheat and water into beer. Right. Brewery. I can do that. Brewery. That one. We'll put it next to the wheat, because why not? There! All the pieces of our train are in place. Thank bloody goodness for that. Now we can sit back and watch our beer supply grow. Awesome. Open the resource panel uh, to see your beer in production. And where is it? 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 We scroll down. We scroll up. There it is. We got one. We got, we've got. we got one beer for the whole population. Here we go. Hmm. Not bad. But that might not be enough beer. No. It's bloody hell. It's sure as shit. Not like. Oh, it's at five now. That's what? A lazy afternoon for yours truly. Open up. Not really. Uh, <laughs> open up the population panel and click on Deb again. Right, here we go. Is she happy now or what? Uh, every inhabitant has a threshold for resources they like or dislike. Hover over Deb's beer desire to see how much beer she wants. It's going to be astronomical, isn't it? 50? She has 50, but we've created an alcoholic here, lad. Now, we could wait for, that, uh, for our only brewery to gradually make enough beer. But that would take a long time. And time is money after all. We can't be wasting that. Money's never really done anything for me personally. You! Wherever you are, shoot your face. Adults are talking. Here. Huh? There's the static again. Right, alright. Okay, old joke. Moving on. Anyway, to speed up our beer production, we can add more production chain blocks. More is better, faster, and stronger after all. Right. Okay. So we need to add more of said things that we've already done. So we'll do one of you. We'll do, uh, we'll do another wheaty thing. Uh, right there. No, right right there. Find a sweet spot. And then we'll do another brewery. There. There we go. Nicely done. Is that it? Did I do that? Or should we do it one more time? We're, we're, it's going up pretty quicker, but it's not... Oh, we need four of them, do we? You can't see this, incidentally, as I realized after I edited the first one because of my fat head. But we need two out of four compost plants, two out of four wheat fields, and two out of four breweries. And we're running out of space, is what we are. Um... So, how does one move the cat? There we go. He's figuring it out again. Right. So, we field. We need another. We need one, two more of them. So, that's gone green, which is good. We need two more of these. Like that. And then, theoretically, we can just add, he says, hopefully, these anyway. Right? So, can we just, uh, we can't, can we? Okay, we can add them there, though. You just gotta find the gaps, is what you gotta do. There we go. Four, four, four. Uh, it shouldn't be long now. <coughs> Excuse me. Until we have enough. Okay, blocks you build will blink lightly when they're producing. White bl uh, white blink means production, red blink means decay. Right. Okay, so everything's blinking white at the moment, right? He says, hopefully. Okay, here we go. There we go! That should make Deb and the beer lovers in the, uh, in the hood pretty happy. Awesome. Of course, we wouldn't be doing our job. Excuse me, if we didn't make money from all this beer too. Let's build a couple of bars to sell our new beer. That's a great ingenious idea is what that is. Build two productive bars. The icon below uh, will turn green once blocks have become productive. Right. So, bar. There we go. Uh, right. Bollocks. We need to find a sweet spot again for this, don't we? Um, I presume this is where multi-level shit comes in. We can put it there. It's not the brightest of ideas, is it? But never mind. Uh, how do you... It's R for rotate, right? Oh, here we go. Nice. And then we'll just add another one. We'll move this out of the way. Incidentally. Oh, you can't... Oh, okay. So, you can, you can use Wasad. Awesome. Right. Uh, we'll use another one there. Nicely done. Why is it two of two and it's not going? The icon will turn green once blocks have become productive. So does that mean we just need to wait? Is it? We've got Danielle. Danielle's just joined the, the hipster party is what she's done. Um, build two productive bars. That's what I've done. 
Or is it a specific time? Oh, here we go. All right, there we go. Nice. Oh, there we go. Now, now people are going in. Nice. I'm sure we'll get some happy residents celebrating our new bars soon. Now we can move to addressing some other desires. Well, the other boars and I could use... It's a boar! Of course it is! Could use a new pond to fill a new more oak tree things. Actually, we're running low on labor and consumers, so we need to build more apartments. Right, of course. Sorry about that, pig, babe, whatever. Uh, the hood is getting pretty cramped, though. So maybe we should finally bulldoze all this unused wilderness. Wait, what? No! You can't do that to the boar! Unused? Most of us have been living in that wilderness. Come on, dude! You can't tell that that stick that it can't do that. In block hood, you can stack blocks on top of each other uh, to build a vertically, uh, to build vertically and save space. Okay, okay, right. So this is where the dumb multi level shit comes in. Uh, enter create mode and build a second floor small apartment. Second floor small apartment. So is that just that, and then you stack them like that? Uh -huh. I did it. Oh, that works too. We can just build upwards. There we go. Nicely done. That's what they do in Monaco, don't we know? Because it's such a small country and they can't expand. They go higher rather than lateral. That made sense in my head. That was pretty smart for me. I know. Thanks, brain. Woo! Right. We'll still need to make the second floor accessible, though. Of course we will. Right. Elevators are blocks that can provide easy vertical access. Slightly elevator in the public space inventory. Oh, okay, okay, that one. And then elevator. So... I might have, I might have chose to to put that apartment block in a in a in a in a wrong place there. To be honest, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. How does one do? Oh, maybe not. Awesome. Is that all right? Because I can't help but thinking it's going in that other guy's apartment now. Unfortunately, continue the elevator shaft. Pfft, shaft. Nah. <laughs> By building another elevator directly on top of the first one. Well, just like that. And then again. Are we doing it again? I could, I could do this all day, me, Dave. I think, it, I, I presume it, it wants me to keep going. How high are we going here? Am I doing this right? Bloody am. That's all it says, right? I think I'm doing it right. I hope I'm doing it right. Please tell me I'm doing it right. Okay, we can't do any more. What? Did I do that right? I'm not convinced I did. Continue the elevator shaft by building another elevator directly on top of the first. Right, well, that's what I did then, isn't it? That's what I did. Why is it... Why is it not working? What have I done? Oh, I've broken it. I've broken it. I can't add any more elevators. Oh, great boogamoogoo. Right, there we go. Shit. Uh, I might have I figured it out. Basically, I had an apartment underneath it, which is what I kind of thought I did. Um, so I put an elevator on top of the apartment. So I had to get rid of said apartment, which I might have to build somewhere else now uh, because someone's probably homeless. Sorry. Um, and then I built another elevator underneath, and now we have a shit ton of elevators. But never mind, moving on. Great. Now we just need to connect the elevators to the apartments. Right. Okay, to check the access of all blocks in a hood, you can use the data viz. I presume that means visualizer, right? I'm still getting used to like maneuvering and whatever, camera and shit. Uh, click on the highlight button to view data viz modes. Here we go. That one. Okay, that's pretty clever. I like that mode. Uh, in this view, accessible, it's kind of like um, when you play Sim Cities or City Skylines or whatever. Incidentally, I want to play that game. Uh, where you get like um, the, the electricity power and stuff. Like, it's kind of like Prison Architect, where you can see where it's your underground view, where you can see that everything's connected. And enough waffling on. In this view, accessible blocks of view. A, a, a view, the view. Never, never mind, bloody blue. The, the, I couldn't even say that then. Blue, view. There we go. <laughs> I need to lie down. While inaccessible blocks are red. What are the purpley ones? Or is that blue? B red. T I'm colorblind. Leave me alone. I'm not. I hope I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. Now try building an accessible third floor apartment of your own. Right. Okay. Cool. I can do that. So how do we get out of this? Can we can we get out of this by doing that? There we go. Nicely done. Right. So we need uh, over here buildings. That one. And then there. I did that. Dave, me, do you want me to like destroy all the elevators, by the way? Or are we good? Are we good for the time being? Um, we're going to expand it to exponential heights is what we're going to do right now. That looks good. Uh, a couple more and we should have enough labor and consumers to uh, fuel a new industry. Yeah, but what about all the elevators that we need to pay for now? Construct a total of 15 accessible apartments 
Uh, the icon below will turn green if a block is uh, is uh, accessible. Right, okay. So, in that case, I'm just going to keep doing this. See, I realized this. That's why I built them really high. Uh, we need to build 15, apparently. Uh... It says 10 out of 15 right now, but I presume it's going to go green in a bit once we've figured... Once people have moved in and we've figured out that bombshell. Maybe. It says hopefully. Although I'm not... Oh! Two out of 12 out of 15. 13 out of 15. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 14 out of 15. 15 out of 15! We hit the jackpot! We've got a bit higher than 15 because I got a bit carried away. But never mind. We've got 17 out of 15. That's awesome. There we go. Nicely done. Great! Now, let's just make sure that we have enough to keep them running. Oh, shit. Uh, provide enough fresh air, water, electricity, and leisure to keep the new apartments running. Right. So, we've got enough water. We've got enough fresh air. We've got enough leisure. They're, again, being hidden by my fat head. So, we just need electricity, which is at minus 2 point... Minus 0 0.25. So, I imagine that as soon as we add one of these, it's going to bugger the, the balance and layout of everything anyway. So, why don't we just add one of them up there? There we go. Just like that. And one more. No, what? One more. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Right? Why? Why is he not going green? There we go. Nicely done. Sorry, wrong button. Uh, I don't know why any creature would want to uh, want to live up so high. Looking good. Now back to business. What? Turn up the data viz thing. That that one. Uh, data viz icon again. I did that. Keep up, boy. Uh, let, let's try seeing what farmer in our hood is interested in. Select Farmer Dan. Farmer Dan. There we go. Found him. Okay, Dan. What do you like? Oh, garments. That's definitely a big industry and lucrative too. Clothes, shoes, hats, tops, dresses, and swag. Okay. Uh, fashion trends move up fast. And we've got, to, we've got to do that too if we want to keep up. When it comes to clothing, we start with the main ingredient, cotton. Okay. Select the cotton field in production. That one. And then the cotton one, which looks like that. There we go. Nicely done. These cotton plants will need some extra help from pesticides. Okie dokie. Select the pesticide shack in the production inventory. Was that this one? Or have I pressed the wrong one? Oh, no, I'm not. I've got it. Build a pesticide shack in the hood. I did it. I didn't want to build it high, but never mind. Uh, bleach. That mailbox smells cruel and unusual. Wow. Your steak sounds a lot like snorting. I'm going to go back to my nest. Bye. Uh, we should be all set to plant our cotton fields. Go ahead. Okay. Awesome. So, plant a couple of cotton fields. I can do that. Uh, we'll have... Uh, we'll have them. I don't know why they're going. I don't know why we can't put them on, on the floor right there, but never mind. Um, so, we'll put... We'll put them over here if we can. We can't put them anywhere. Why can't I put them down there? Okay, we're going to put one of there. We're going to put one... No, wrong button. We're going to swivel it around. We're going to put one there. D Again, I don't know why it's high. Why can't we put it on the ground? Now we need to refine our raw cotton into fabric. This will require some extra steps first, though. We'll need an industrial gin first to prog uh, progress, process. That's the one. The raw cotton into cotton bales. Then a cotton mill can take the cotton bales and spin them into fabric. Right. So we need an industrial gin which sounds like a drink that I want to try and cotton mill. Right. So, uh, industrial gin. Uh, we're going to put it, uh, why can't we put, why can't we put it on the floor? Okay, we can put it high, but again, I want to put it on the ground. Can I not put it on the ground? All right, sod it. We're just going to, we're just going to, no. No. I was gonna say we're gonna put it in the in the in the, the block of flats, but nah, because you can't really access it, can you? So it needs it needs a three pronged approach, right, to, to access it. I think I'm gonna be struggling here to find a place to put this, right? Oh 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 oh! All right, it it looks out of place, but bugger it, never mind. I don't think people can walk underneath that now, but it's bollocks. We can't put it there, can we? Take that away. Bless him. He can't get down there. Oh, here we go. What if we just put one there? Uh, that one. And then that one, and then that one. And then we just put it there. Oh, there we go. That's much better. And then a cotton mill. Okay, so a cotton mill is that one, and then we can put that right next to it. You can access it from two sides, not the other ones. But, I mean, two's better than none, right? 
apparently it is. All right, cool, excellent. Now our first step is finding a place to set all this new fabric together. I'm running out of space, bro. That's where a sweatshop comes in. Uh, it's cheap, efficient, and most importantly, it can churn out a lot of garments from our fabric. Right, so we need to build a sweatshop, which is that one. Data center, not even close. Sweatshop, that's the one. There we go. Garment sweatshop, that's the one. Uh, and we'll put you... We'll put you... Uh, there. No. 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 Th okay, apparently we can't put it there. Oh, apparently we can. You just need to find a bloody sweet spot for it. Okie dokie, right. So we've done that, and we need to just wait until 8 out of 8 garments are successfully sold or produced. Be back in a sec! Okay. So we, we, I think I've stumbled into a bit of a problem. I don't know if it's the game that's done it on purpose or if I've just done it by accident and stumbled across it because I've been trying to figure out why it's not working because at the top it says garment sweatshop one of one and that's green and then it says garment zero out of eight. So we need to make eight garments but I've done everything in place and it's not working. So I went on here because you can look at stuff and I looked on it, licked at it as well is what I did and it says restore and that's in that's 20 and it's, it's red. So... What does that mean? That's labor. That is that. Uh, but I can't for the life of me figure out what that is. Okay, that just happened again. But I think that's just a normal thing that happened. So we need to do something, I think, uh, that I've not figured out yet in order to get this to work. Um, it looked like an, an academic hat of some sort. So... Maybe we need a- we can't build a, uh, a school though, can we? Or what? That's just trees and stuff, innit? So... I don't really know, man. Uh, what's the- the- because it looked like a, a graduation cap, right? But... Like, I presume that when that goes green, 20, we'll be able to do whatever that is. Because right now, it doesn't seem to be doing much. Um, unless we try destroying it and starting it again and putting it somewhere. Because originally, I thought it was because no one could access it. But that's a lie, because they can access it, I think. Because if you do that, it says green is accessible. And that's not doing any good as well now, is it? So, maybe we just delete both of them. And then put new ones... New ones of these down? Maybe? Is that gonna work now? Because I think maybe they just got decayed before. So maybe I didn't do it quick enough? I, I, I really don't know. I have no idea. I've broken the game already and I'm only on chapter 3. I've got no bloody chance later when I'm on my own doing sandbox. Build a sweatshop to start producing garments. I've bloody done that, lad. And everything's connected. I don't know what that is. Ah, here we go. What's this? What What? What does that mean? Why Why is it Why is it, Why is is it? it black? What? And by that I mean red. Why, why, why is it red, bro? What have I done? I don't get it. What does this mean? Does that mean that it cut? It's not accessible because the other menu said it is the lion shit. Oh, that means it's decaying, right? Does it? I don't. Oh, we need electricity. Is that what it is? Is it? Is that? Is that what it is? Uh, you bugger off. Do we need more electricity? Is that what it is? Please tell me it is. Is that all it was? The garment's not going up though. Ah, it's a game based on problem solving and I've got no idea. Right, let's try it another way. Let's try. Are you shitting me? I want to put it on. I want to. Oh, 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 oh. Right, okay, all right. Uh, let's try doing that. And then if we swing it around here. We try putting another corridor thing on, like that, and then 
and then and then and then and then and then that and then one next to it and then one next to the it's getting a little bit arsy and finicky now and it's doing my head in a little bit but i'm gonna try to persevere why can't you put one there why can't we put one there now bro see why does the gate why can't i put one there why 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 can i not put another block right there right I've checked this and double checked it and that should be alright in terms of getting access to it now. I built a sweatshop and I don't understand why it's not working. This keep this keeps blinking at me. That's a garment sweatshop, right? It looks exactly like the one on the picture down below, but it's not working. So I don't know if it's bugged out or what. But I mean I've waited time and time again and nothing's happening. So the game's broken. It's not me. This is the game. All right. See, they've clearly got access points. They're, they're all happy and Larry. Can I just... Bugger it. I'm going to get rid of that. Now could... Bollocks. Could... Right, you. Why is it red? At Oh... Bollocks to this shit, man. I'm done with this game. <laughs> I can't fathom it out. Right, you're blue. You, you're blue. You're blue. Why are you not making any garments, bro? Ah! It needs raw cotton. Is that why? Does it... What makes raw cotton? Do we need more cotton fields? Do... I'm gonna about. I don't know what happened then. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna about. Do we need... Have I just answered my own bloody question through stupidity? Do we need more cotton field things? Might be an idea. Uh, can, can we just put some down anyway? Can we just a test? I just want to put some down for test, please. Has that done it? I don't know. I don't think it has, has it? What else do we need? So, right, let's let's look at this logically. That needs 10 fabric, right? And that outputs 10 fabric, but that needs four cotton bales, which you get from there. But that needs raw cotton, which is there, right? Outputs raw cotton. Right, we might have just done it now. He says confidently, hopefully the garments will start going up one by one. But again, nothing's happening. Hello? I don't understand why it's not producing resources yet. We've got enough electricity and all that crap. Why, why is it not working? Have I broken the game? Have I, have I done something that I shouldn't have done? Because for whatever reason, it ain't working. Let's just plant some more. For the sake of arguments, let's plant some more of these. But again, why can't I just... Why, I just want to plant them there, man. I don't want to plant them halfway up in the bloody air. Oh. Oh. Okay. Some things are bleeping. Okay, we've added a pesticide shack. Uh, we've added two pesticide shacks to help with the, the fertilizer of that. Uh, or the, the, the anti-pesticides of that. I really don't know. I don't know what's going on. It can't be a glitch, right? It 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 can't be a glitch, right? Why, Dan, is it not working, bro? I really I really don't understand this. I I really honestly just don't understand this game. And on that note, guys, I am gonna leave that one there because and something's not right here. I don't know if it's me being thick as pig shit. Let's face it, it probably is. Uh, but I've been banging my head against a brick wall for about an hour and a half now. An hour and five. That's also I can tell time. Leave me alone. Um, because I've done everything that the game told me to do. So I, I don't know if it's a glitch. It can't be a glitch. It's just me being stupid. But I've I've tried to research it on Google. But apparently, like everyone else is playing sandbox mode in this rather than the story mode. So I can't. You type block code chapter three in and nothing comes up really. It's all sandbox stuff. So it's not as if I can I can watch a video about how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take a rest from this now. I'm gonna come back to this in the next few days or so, and then 
out because I imagine when I when I end this video it's, it's gonna like wipe this whole kind of chapter three thing because I think it only saves after you complete a chapter because there's no point there's no way of saving it um so what I'll have to do is before I record the next one is I'll try and get back up to this bit do everything by the book as, as the game tells me to do and then hopefully we can progress but for the life of me, I can't figure it out, and I'm, I'm planting everything, and I'm doing other stuff, and I'm making sure that all access is 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 is, is attainable to get to the certain elements of things and, and whatever, be it, you know, the 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 grass or the, the the shops and stuff. But for the life of me, I just can't figure it out. So that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye, bye. -bye.